Hello again. In this lesson, we are going to learn about conjunctions. A conjunction is a word that connects other words, phrases, or sentences together. For example, Rachel loves chicken that is hot. Rachel loves chicken that is spicy. We can connect these two sentences with a conjunction so that we don't have to repeat some of the words. We use the word and to connect the two sentences. Rachel loves chicken that is hot and spicy. Let's try using another conjunction. Samad wanted to go to the movies. Samad didn't have enough money. So if we use a conjunction to connect these two sentences, we should get Samad wanted to go to the movies but didn't have enough money. Conjunctions can be put into different groups depending on how they connect words and sentences. A conjunction can be used to show purpose. Kugan studies hard so that he can go to the university. Which is the conjunction in this sentence? The conjunction is so that. It tells us the purpose of Kugan studying hard. Now let's look at conjunctions that show reasons. Catherine is not going to school today because she is ill. In this sentence, the conjunction is because. It gives us the reason why Catherine did not go to school. Here is a sentence that uses a conjunction to show contrast. Last week, we went on a camping trip, although it was raining heavily. The conjunction here is although. So far, we have learned how to use the following conjunctions. And, but, so that, because, although. Conjunctions can also be used to show condition. For example, we will only be able to watch TV if we finish our homework. The conjunction here is if. It means that we will only get to watch TV if we finish our homework. Conjunctions can also show comparisons. Jay is taller than his father. The conjunction here will be then. In this sentence, we are comparing Jay's height to that of his father. Jay is taller than his father. Just now, we learned two more conjunctions. If, then. Conjunctions can also be used to show time. For example, Dad was taking a shower when I got home. The conjunction is when. Here is a conjunction that shows choice. You can have either orange juice or iced water. The conjunction is either because you can choose between the orange juice and the ice water. You may not realize it, but you are using conjunctions every day in your daily conversation. Here are a few more examples of conjunctions. Unless, however, as if, where, whenever, before, after, so, so that. Now let's try this exercise. Fill in the blanks. My mother will not be able to finish her cooking. I help her. Yes, the correct conjunction is unless. My mother will not be able to finish her cooking unless I help her. After lunch, I normally eat 
a banana or a slice of papaya. The conjunction should be either. After lunch, I normally eat either a banana or a slice of papaya. Azman would like to join our group. We cannot accept any more members. But is the conjunction. Azman would like to join our group, but we cannot accept any more members. Aziz is looking for a shop. He can buy cheap computer parts. Yes, the conjunction is where. Aziz is looking for a shop where he can buy cheap computer parts. Helen is short and slim. Her sister is tall and fat. The conjunction is while. Helen is short and slim while her sister is tall and fat. That's all for this lesson. Bye.